Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Ladies and gentlemen, in the last episode I said, all we have to do to finish off the Dawn Guard is, uh, let's see, we needed to explore Arcing Thams, and it, ha is, it is actually Arcing Thams. Uh, we needed to do this quest, which I didn't realize, bring Ancient Falmer Tome to Urag Grow Shub, which is really interesting because it's like the same thing as this. Urag Grow, Shub is, uh, Urag Grow Shub is looking for writings by the Archmage Shalador. It's like there's two quests bringing books to him, so I always get those confused. But anyways, uh, we actually have three things left to do in the Dawn Guard, and there's probably even more that I'm forgetting because it's just like there's so much to do. It's crazy, and... It's not so much that I'm bored with it or anything like that, but I'm just like, man, I really want to move on to something else, but this is a 100% playthrough, and I don't really want to do other stuff and come back to the Dawn Guard. So, uh, anyways, we have three things left to do, if I remember correctly. One, we need to bring the Ancient Falmer Tome to Urag Groshub, which will start a new quest where we need to find four books and bring them to him. I don't think that was that hard, though. Uh, we also need to do uh, the investigate the ruins of Arking Thams, which will lead to a quest, a like, completely random side quest. It's actually really cool, so I really want to do that one. Uh, and then we need to do the Paragon Portals, which I forgot about. So we will be doing all of that. The first thing that we're going to do is bring this ancient to uh, tome to Urag, because we might find more of those books on our travels. I think most of them are in the Forgotten Veil. Vale. So when we do eventually return to the Forgotten Veil, vale, what is this? Dragon. What's with all these dragons appearing, uh, appearing in the College of Winterhold these days? Come on, man. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, take this guy down. Might as well, right? Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, that was so close. That was closer than anything. Um, also, we should have Wrath and Fury. Fury and Wrath. Although, they just seem to do whatever they want. Appear when they want. I'm not really sure what needs to happen. Are right, we have an Elder Dragon here. Uh, and you can see our damage is non-existent, so that's going to be difficult. Whereas his damage, my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we live, but... Okay, yeah, we have a weakness to fire. Uh, screw this. I'm not fighting this Elder Dragon. No thanks. I already have a multitude of Dragon Souls. Literally, the only reason would, would just be for the challenge and take him to... What in the world? Oh, they're, like, still firing at the dragon, which is outside. Yeah, and now they're here. So we're not going to be able to kill that thing any regardless anyways if we can't even have our Atronax present. Uh, again, it's leading me into the dang Archmage quarters. Again, we need to actually go the other way into the Arcanium. Uh, we might take out the Elder Dragon if he is there when we go back outside. I will see, but I am definitely not fighting that thing without my Storm Atronax present. All right, here is Urag. Archmage or not, my rules about books still stand. Would you be interested in an Elder Scroll? Very funny. Did Enther put you up to this? Okay, if you don't want it, I'll find someone who does. Wait, are you... are you serious? You have an Elder Scroll? You? I would be honored, beyond honored, to have such a thing here at the college. This opens up entire new realms of research for us. Oh, if only Septimus were here to see this. Thank you. Please, take this. It can't quite compare to an Elder Scroll, but still, you will be remembered for generations for this. Okay, so I might actually reload that Until save because time. Adronach would definitely not give away an Elder Scroll. The only reason I did that before realizing what I was doing yeah, I'm actually going to reload this autosave, uh, is because you can't actually remove the Elder Scrolls from your inventory, and I'm not sure if you can only give uh, one of them to Rag, because we actually have three. We have three Elder Scrolls in our inventory. Sun, Blood, and Dragon, I believe. Uh, so yeah, we're not going to do that this time. Archmage or not, my rules about books still stand. Any interest in ancient Falmer tomes? Well, well. I haven't seen one of these beauties in a long time. A rare find in the original Falmer language. You're damn right I'm interested. Question is, are you selling? Depends on how much you're paying. Well, considering no one else in Skyrim would buy something they couldn't possibly read, I'd say you don't have much of a choice. Tell you what, you bring me books like this, and I'll pay a thousand gold each. I'll even throw in a translated edition I have for free. Interested? 
Deal. Here you go. Okay. So, we had actually two volumes, so we should be getting uh, two translated books and 2,000 gold. If it shows me one more thousand gold? No. We did have volume one and four, I believe. All this knowledge might have been lost were it not for you. Okay, we can't say anything else to him. Fight. I thought that led to... Yeah, bring ancient Falmer Tome no. to Urag. Okay, so if we go into our items and books... Yeah, he has given us two translated versions, so we have, like, two more, and interestingly enough, it's not... It's not pointing us to any more books, is it? No. So I guess we have to find these ourselves, which we will do when we do the Paragon Portals, because I believe, like I said, they're all in the Forgotten Valley, or the Forgotten Vale. So for now, we're going to switch gears. Not really, though, because we're still doing Dawn Guard. And we are going to do the Ethereum Wars quest. Which, like I said, is a very interesting and fun quest. The Elder Dragon is still out here. Uh, and our our Atronax are nowhere to be found. Oh, there they are. Okay. Now, unfortunately, obviously, we have a big weakness to fire. And our DPS is not that much here. So this is going to take 10 years to take down this Elder Dragon. <sighs> and since these episodes are only 20 minutes until we complete Nuka World, I think I'm just going to move on. All we're going to get from this thing is some gold, which we already have more than enough at the moment. And a Dragon Soul, same exact thing. So, yeah. I just don't want it to seem like I'm avoiding dragon fights, because I know that's a huge aspect of Skyrim. I also just don't want to spend half the episode fighting one dragon. It's just not worth it for me. So... We're going to go into the miscellaneous, we're going to deselect that, and we're going to grab Investigate the Ruins of Arking Thames. Uh, if you don't remember how to start this off, basically all you have to do is find one of the many, the Ethereum Wars books. There's actually one in my inventory, so I can show you what it looks like, because you can't get rid of it until you complete this quest. There we go, the Ethereum Wars. When you have Dawn Guard installed, you will start seeing that book appear. Um, and then all you have to do is find a copy of it, read it. And you'll get a miscellaneous objective that will lead to an actual quest. And it's a very, very, very big quest. Now, a little side note. I'm still wondering if I should show you guys the Paragon Portals because that... Oh, what do we have over here? It's like a fight between some Imperials and some Forsworn. We can use this opportunity to level up our... Destruction just a little bit. You don't have a chance. Oh, why did you minimize, Skyrim? Wow, it just minimized at the absolute best time ever. Okay, well, it looks like he waited for me. Take that. All right, so we're going to go uh, walk our way over there. What I was trying to say, and where are Storm Atronax, man? Like, where, where are they? Uh, what I was saying was that, yes, I'm not sure if I should street... Um... Alright guys, well, my game, like, minimized and then it just froze and went away, so I had to restart. Uh, basically, put me right back at the College of Winterhold before we fast-traveled to, uh, wherever this place was, the Forsworn Camp. But, we're back on the path. Uh, I'm gonna grab fast healing and heal real quick. And then incinerate, and we are gonna continue forward. Looks like we're gonna pass an Orc Stronghold. Kind of interesting. Which one is this? Like I said before. Oh, Outlander. By the code of Malakath, the stronghold belongs to the orcs. Your kind are unwelcome. I go where I please, orc. We won't kill you, Outlander. But we don't want you here. Remember that. Who is Malakath? He is the Daedric Lord of the Orcs, the Keeper of the Sworn Oath, and the Bloody Curse. We live by his code and follow his teachings. An outlander like you wouldn't understand. Are there other strongholds out there? There are a few great strongholds worthy to talk about. Dushnik Yal, Morkas Gur, Nozzle Burr, and Loggish Burr. How can I convince you to let me in? Hmm. We've heard whispers of an enchanted pair of gauntlets. Hidden and protected by dangerous men, beasts, or worse. They are called the Forge Master's Fingers. Bring them to our chief, and he will decide if you're worthy to be bloodkin to the orcs. 
And I'll find those gauntlets. We will see. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and activate Dushnik Yal. Uh, because this is a Daedric quest that I have not done in quite a while, and I can't wait to shift gears into completing the majority of the Daedric quests, even though, again, most of the Daedric artifacts are not going to be able to be used by us, since, you know, we have, like, an orcish uh, two-handed hammer, we have, like, you know, a blade, uh, we have a plate mail, you know, a bunch of stuff that just does not fit a mage. But nevertheless, we're going to go up over here... Where we have arcing fams. Now, if I remember right, there were multiple rooms to go inside of. No, no, no! No, 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 no! No, no, no. Silly saber cat. Uh, I could be wrong, though. I seem to remember there was another room. Okay. Well, we're gonna go ahead and em uh, enter and explore. So something just shook and rumbled. And I'm not sure why. Into Arcing Thames we go. I don't remember how long this quest was. I remember it gives you a really cool reward. I remember it's a unique and interesting experience. But it's always a good sign when we enter a ruin. Back. Oh, I remember this. Oh, this is even cooler than I remember. Yeah, okay, alright. So we had a voice telling us to turn back, but... <gasps> turn back before it's too late. Yeah, no, uh, sorry, I guess you don't know who I am. I'm Adronach. I don't turn back from things. Okay, so things are falling. That's what's going on here. The entire place is crumbling. Okay, this ghostly voice is named Kataria or Katyra or something like that. What are you still doing here? Katria? Let me guess. You're here for the treasure, aren't you? Just like all the others. What treasure? It's a long story. You ever heard of Ethereum? A rare mineral used by the dwarves. Supposedly, they had to build a special forge, the Ethereum Forge, to even work with it. The items it made were so powerful, they went to war over it, and the forge was lost. Or so the story goes. And that story led you here? I spent my life tracking down that legend, until my damn apprentice stole everything from me, and published it all under his own name. And now, now I can't rest. Not until I have proof. Something to show the world what I discovered, what I did, that my life mattered. But it's hopeless. I died here, just like all the others. Turn back. Turn back before you become the next victim. I can handle myself. Sure, that's what they all say. I'm not going to talk you out of it, am I? I know, I know. I was just like you once. Well, if you want to reach the summit, you're going to need some help. You want a hand? No thanks. It's your funeral. Alright, now I don't remember if we need Katria to get a certain something. I don't think we will, but she might just point us towards the thing that I'm referring to. Uh, regardless, we're going to continue on in the... I want to say the Ethereum Forge, but this is actually uh, Arcing Thams. Uh, we're also going to search this and grab that soul gem. Now, let's jump down here and see what awaits us below. See if there's anything that we want to actually loot or find. Does not look like it. So, I think for now, let us just cross over here. Grab my journal. If you survive, you're going to need it. Hey, grab my journal. If you survive, you're going to need it. There's Katria's body, which has Katria's journal. Let's see how long it is. Pretty long. Okay, so we'll look at Katria's journal if we need to, but Skyrim puzzles are pretty easy. I will uh, run through this one more time if you guys want to pause the video and read what Katria is saying. And it looks like we will need to uh, refer back to this when we get to this section. I do sort of remember this vaguely. Alright, so we're going to take that. 
Uh, we're gonna take her arrows. We're gonna take her gold. And I thought she. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we're also gonna take her body and throw it into the river. Bye bye. Doesn't matter. She doesn't really care. She didn't say anything about it. Okay, and what's down there? What is that? Oh, there's a rotating gyro or whatever those things are called. We have a Falmer here, which is wonderful. I'm gonna drag this guy into the river as well. Bye bye. And we are gonna continue on our way. Whoa! That. Oh my god, that scared the crap out of me, actually. Alright, destruction increased to 95, which might give us access to the expert level quest, or the master level quest, uh, but we will not be able to tell until we get out of here and back to the College of Winterhold, which of course we will not do until we complete this area. Now, how are we supposed to continue on here? Guess we can walk on this thing. Yes, indeed jump down here okay moving on okay we saw these in Catria's journal this little rotating thing here and I think they activate with spells why did that door just close automatically can't reopen it okay now if we hit this doesn't do anything so that one might be automatic but I'm pretty sure we can like this one right here yes we can move that one which opens this door so it's just letting us know how those work off the bat, but I mean, again, this is Skyrim, so it's pretty dang obvious. All right, now we're at a pretty decent level of damage here. Uh, and our Magicka, there's so much of it, thanks to the Ring of the Erudite, which is a crazy powerful ring. You can see it on our right hand there. Uh, that it's not really, we've entered like a non-difficult area of the game now again which is really nice because i feel like it's been a decent amount of time since we have been like super powerful you know so uh there's catria so we're still in the same main chamber here we've got another falmer over there uh kind of figured that would miss but that's quite all right one more little charge and this guy is dead uh, unless I miss, of course, which I never, ever, ever do. All right, down you go. Okay, now let's loot this chest. 15 gold. Wow, great job, Falmer. Y'all have some really interesting stuff. Okay, I vaguely remember something about Catria and a certain something that I will talk about if we find it. I don't want to spoil it, though. Uh, but the thing is, since we're playing as Adronach, and since Adronach does not need help, we're going to have to keep an eye out for what I'm talking about. And that rhymes. Okay, didn't even uh, need to dual wield there. Or dual cast. Since these normal fa- Wow. Oh, I really wanted you to fall into the water, dude. Oh, well. Uh, okay, th oh, what's this guy? This guy's breakdancing. Nice job, dude. Oh, wow. Oh, he's a natural. Look at that. Hey, 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 stop. Your friend is uh, giving a performance. What are you doing, buddy? Oh, look at that. Okay, so much weird stuff is happening. I don't even know where to start. Uh, dragging all the bodies into the river, of course. Come on. He said dragging all the bodies. Come on. Get in there. There we go. So satisfying. Come on, you two. Down you go. Very nice. Yes, let's get as much conflicting physics going on as possible so we can crash the game. You know what I mean? Okay, we have a door over here, which we cannot activate. Looks like a shortcut or something. And anything up here? This is kind of what I was remembering, but I think it'll be obvious when we come up to it. Okay, hi there. Head down there. Okay, let's go over here. We're about to end the episode, but we have a little bit of time so we can make a little bit more progress. Okay, the entire place keeps rumbling. Yep, like right over there. Don't want to get hit by any rocks. Don't know if there's anything down there, but we're going to assume that there's not. Uh, what I was saying was we want to grab Unrelenting Force. <gasps> Shot these guys over the edge. You lucky balloon lurker. Go ahead, get up. It's not going to matter. Bye-bye. And then the Charis is down there somewhere. How are you still alive, little buddy? All right. We're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Be happy.